And joining us at the broadcast this minute is Jason Box, who is a professor in glaciology at the Geological Survey of Denmark and Greenland. Thanks very much, Jason, for speaking with us here. The heat wave in Europe has broken several records. Is this a definitive sign of climate change or what's been called the freak weather phenomenon? When we look at these heat waves affecting Europe, we know that the probability of them occurring naturally is extremely small. This is some kind of proof that these events are not just freakish uh, one-time events, but part of a global warming pattern. When we examine the climate record that goes back more than 100 years in Europe, we can see that the probability of heat waves like we've endured this year and back in 2003 um, is infinitesimally small unless we consider the warming trend. Right, so what exactly could then uh, the implications be of losing the world's second largest ice sheet uh, for the global climate system as Greenland also gets impacted now uh, increasingly as a result of that European heat wave? The implications of melting Greenland ice are one bottom line is global sea level rise, which actually is concentrated in the tropics due to gravitational effects. The effect will be when sea level rise is combined with thermal expansion of seawaters, which is one of the signatures of climate change, high tide and storm surge when wind blows the water onshore, that will produce flooding already now uh, that is exacerbated. We do not have to wait until the end of century to feel some expensive impacts of land ice melt and sea level rise.